Hey guys and welcome back to another new in video. So in today's video I'm going to be talking you through um, my favourite new launches for the month of June. How is it June already? Um, so the first thing I want to talk about this month is a relaunch slash reformulation. If you've been following me for a while, you may know that my OG holy grail like ride or die makeup product is the YSL Effectful Seal Mascara. I have used this mascara since I was like 15. I love it, absolutely adore it. It's the one that I always go back to. It's freaking amazing if you've never used it. It's so good. They've reformulated it. Now, this can often be controversial. A lot of the time I think with brands, if it's not broken, don't try and fix it. However, with this, I genuinely can't really tell the difference between the new formula and the old formula. So they have supposedly added argan oil and made it more kind of nourishing for your lashes as opposed to just giving you that amazing um, volume and length that if you've used it, you will know um, it gives. And I think they've like slightly updated the packaging and that's all I can kind of tell that they've changed. If you are a diehard fan of this, don't panic. They haven't ruined it. But in terms of it making a real difference, like, like, I don't really know. So that is an interesting one this month. And then the other one is a new launch from YSL. Again, I can't quite get what they've changed with these, but they've launched these, which are the Water Stain Lipsticks. Now, these are very, very similar to the Glossy Stains. I'm not sure if the Glossy Stains have now been discontinued. I would kind of guess that they have because these are so similar. Um, if they are slightly different in any way, obviously the packaging is different and I like the packaging. It's nice. It's got this like sleek black line down the front. I would say they're slightly lighter, hence the name, the water stain. You kind of can get a little bit more of like a, a lightweight feel from them. However, they still have that real be buildable kind of tackiness that the original glossy stains had. So if you guys don't know about the YSL glossy stains, I was really into them probably like maybe five years ago when they first came out I really like them I, I, I still do really like them but essentially they are a super pigmented gloss but they apply in almost like three layers so the first layer is like a really sheer stain that goes kind of tacky and then is really comfortable to wear on your lips all day and you can use that then you can build it up to achieve a super pigmented glossy color like I'm wearing now so I'm actually wearing this one which is number 603. My two favorites from the lineup, um, I think there are, is either 12 or 14 shades? I will put all the information below so you guys know. These are also launching right at the end of June. So the mascara is out now, that came out at the end of May. So these are coming out on the 26th of June. There are 14 colors in total. Um, I have five here to show you guys. These two are by far my favorite. This is the gorgeous Fuchsia 603 which I'm wearing now and then a really lovely kind of deep nude which is number 610 would highly recommend these these are definitely staying in my collection these ones are going to go to friends because they are too orangey for me but I really like these however again I don't really see how they're different from the glossy stains they are very similar like a tiny bit different um, and they are 29 pounds each but very nice still another thing that I wanted to talk about coming out this month is a beauty bag collaboration um, and it is from Victoria from In The Fro if you don't follow her I'm sure a lot of you do because she's awesome she has released this beauty bag with Feel Unique and it is really really nice so the products in here are worth £155 and it's retailing for £67 so that's less than half price and the products are amazing um, it's available from the 7th of June so by the time this video goes up um, it will be available um, and inside you get some really lovely things if you travel a lot or if you're doing lots of traveling this summer I would definitely recommend checking this out so what do you get in here firstly for the like, bits and bobs that come with it you get a gorgeous silk um, eye mask with constellations on it you get a reusable um, travel liquids bag really useful you get a really decent sized mirror with the same yellow um, colouring and the whole theme of this like little bag is yellow and navy which I think is such a nice colour combo then you also get some earplugs essential for travelling especially if you're travelling with somebody who snores 
um, or on a noisy plane. Um, and then product wise, I'm gonna put this first because it kind of goes with the other stuff. You get a pack of Invisi Bobbles, which are the best hair bobbles for traveling with because you don't get kinks in your hair and you can put your hair up on the flight and then take it down and you don't look crazy. Um, and then product wise, oh my God, there's such such brilliant products in here. I never know how to say this brand. It's or Omorovica, yeah. The um, Queen of Hungry Mist, which is a facial spray, really, really nice facial spray. There's a miniature size by Terry lip balm, but it's the one, if I don't throw it on the floor, it's the one in the tube rather than the one, actually is this miniature? I feel like this might actually be the full size one. I think it is the full size one. Um, it's the one in the tube rather than the one in the pot, which is really useful and nice for traveling. There's a single Elemis Hydro Gel Eye Mask. Again, lovely products. There is a full size, although this is actually tiny, it is full size, Girl Out Midnight Secret, which is basically a kind of um, overnight mask. So it's like an intensive moisturizer for using overnight. There's something I've never used before, which is the Lumine um, Nutri Recharging Skin Savior Balm, which sounds lovely. There is also one of my favorites, the Cordelite Devin Hand Cream. This smells divine. And there's a miniature Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. And that is it. So really lovely set. That is out this month um, on Feel Unique with Victoria. So a really nice summer launch. And then sticking with the summer theme, there are two new sun care launches coming out this month that I'm really into. The first one is an extension of the range that I fell in love with last summer, which is the Vichy Ideal Soleil um, Solar Protective Water. They've released a new version of this. So they have the hyaluronic version, which was my favorite from last summer. They also have the enhanced tanning version. Um, and then this year they brought out the antioxidant version, which this stuff is brilliant. If you like using sun cream and you, you want to stay protected a lot, but you hate that like sticky, heavy feel, this is super, super lightweight. Like it is literally a water. You have to shake it before you apply it, but it absorbs instantly. It feels like you're wearing nothing and it's just, yeah, the dream. So I use these all last summer and really rate them and could not recommend them highly enough. And then another launch that's coming out from Cordily, they've released a new sun care range, which is actually really interesting because um, it is part of their Ocean Protect campaign. So basically it contains no oxybenzone or no octin, octinoxate, I think that's how you say it. Basically, the chemicals that have been linked to coral bleaching, um, it's essentially supposed to be like ocean safe sun cream, which I think is really interesting because a lot of people who are concerned about the chemicals in chemical sunscreen tend to opt for zinc based sunscreen, which is what I use on my daughter, but I actually don't use zinc based sun cream on myself because I find it so hard to rub in. If you guys have any recommendations of lightweight zinc based sunscreen, then let me know. I'm so into my sunscreen. I'm like, the sunscreen, I like, love it. Um, let me know. But um, mostly zinc based sunscreen, it tends to be greasy, it tends to be um, heavy, it tends to be difficult to rub in, and it tends to give a, like a white cast. So this is a really good alternative to that because it has less chemicals in that are damaging to the environment. Um, but it still has incredible texture and is very, very um, easily absorbed. So they have three different textures as part of the range and they do, I think they do the two creams in 30 and 50, but I think they only do the oil in 30. I might be making that up, but I've only seen the oil in 30. Um, so they have a um, sun care oil. This personally is not my, um, favorite kind of texture. I don't really like oils in general and oil products. I have a real, it's not quite a phobia, but a real dislike for having oily hands. So oil sunscreens are not usually my thing. Um, but they do have a spray milk version, which is so nice. It's like instantly absorbed, absolutely gorgeous. The SPF 50 is not thick at all. It's amazing. And then they have the face one, which is a thicker cream that comes in a tube. So those are really nice. They all smell lovely as well. And I, I'm a big fan of um, Cordily in general. So UVA, UVB, um, broad spectrum protection. As per usual with Cordily, they are free of a lot of other chemicals as well. If you want to know more about this, rather than me harping on about it for too long, 
um, go and check out their website. I will link it below. Um, but that's the new Caudalie skincare range as well. Sun care range even, which I am excited about this month. So lots of new sun care. I love my sun cream. So I'm really excited for all of these this summer. I'm going to be thoroughly well protected. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I will see you again very soon with a new one. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye guys.